Uh, we'll meet. All right. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> okay, so we shall start this session related to Wikiquote and the She Said initiative that is being run uh, starting October 1st till the end of the year 2023. So uh, would uh, first, um, I, I would like to acknowledge the presence amongst us of Timothy. Uh, is that how we say your name, Timothy? Or Timothy? Um, yeah, German would be Timothy. Um, yeah, American would be Timothy with a TH. Where are you from? You're not American then? Uh, both. Okay. So, okay, welcome then. And um, so, so today uh, he will show us and, and tell us a bit more about the Wikiquote system uh, in English, which is, as we have been saying several times, different from other languages. So um, the situation I live on in on the French wiki code is typically different from the one we live on the English wiki code. So it's interesting to have somebody from there to really explain us and give us the detail of what's going on. I would like to introduce this session with first a short introduction about the topic reminding about the wiki code she said program. Uh, do you see my screen? Uh, okay, you should see normally my... Um, my page on she said on Meta, is it what you see? Yes, it's perfect. Yes, this is good. Okay, so um, a short summary about this this program. This is something we started a few years ago. Uh, that's the fourth edition from memory. And the idea was to finish the end of the year with something a little bit more relaxed than other things we do the rest of the year. So with no very strict deadline, no you know very strict things that would uh, be a little bit complicated to finish the end of the, the year with. And we also wanted to explore the possibility of working on another project than the usual Wikipedia, Wikipedia and Wikipedia. And um, we didn't want Wikidata either. And we're quite used with the Wikimedia Commons uh, through the Wikilove's Africa contest. So we thought, what about Wikiquote? That would be something we would find interesting, in particular as part of our Wikilove's Women program, since we want to give women a better visibility and a better voice on the Wikimedia project. So let's go, we decided to Wikiquote. And at that time, I must confess, I knew nothing about our Wikiquote. I think I had zero edit at that time. So it was brand new discovery the first year. And what we did is that we invited a few communities, not many of them because we want to keep it that, that relaxed. We invited a few community to join us to explore Wikicode, to better understand it, to help it, to um, work on the categories, work on the entries, understand better how all of this works. So we made, I made a central page on Meta. So that's the page you see. And we named that project, She Said. Then we called from so few people. The first year we had maybe a, a small dozens of participants. So the figures, well, it's funny, I have 22, no, it's here. So the, the first year we had about yeah, a small, maybe six or seven different languages participated to it. And then we repeated the programs uh, the following year, 2021. And then 2022. Of course, you shall remember that 2021 end of the year was a moment where all of us were stuck at home. So we thought it was also a good opportunity to do that quietly from our places, not having to go around and visit people. Since then, it's a situation is a bit different. So people go on working on it online, but some people also mostly want to do some um, training sessions and uh, organize it at and around the program. Uh, in their countries. So this year I am less involved in the she said that I used to because I gave somehow what the baby to Afek. So Afek Ben Shahed is, is the main organizer of, of it and you might see her around quite a bit. But unfortunately Afek is not here this evening because she's actually flying to attend the wiki camp in India. So she is probably in the plane right now. So that's why we decided to come and, and help. So with that being said, um, before we jump in, for anyone interested, 
uh, I invite you to come to the meta page. Uh, most of the discussion take place on the main discussion page on Meta. So that's where you might find the global information related to the program. And um, the main information is available directly from She Said 2023. And since this is my side baby, I will also want to show you the resources and tools page, uh, which is a place where over time I managed to create a whole bunch of queries to try to track what is being in the, produced in each uh, program per language. So typically there are some queries um, have been updated. All the one in 77,000 have been updated. Why is the one in 69 or still the queries from last year? So I updated the French and the English in priority. So with that being said, I propose to leave the floor to Timothy and um, I will unshare my screen. There you go. And uh, I leave you the floor, Timothy. Yeah, so um, I'm Timothy. Um, I am a English Wikipedia native. Um, I am a uh, an admin on Commons and an admin in Crat on uh, English WikiQuote. Um, so I'm been around the block a few times. Um, I would, I, I, I'm happy to, um, I, I'm not sure if you all want uh, sort of a, a pr premiere on um, making a new article um, or, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm here for whatever you all want. I don't, I don't really have a presentation to give. Um, I would say that um, leaving the tag from my perspective, like trying to, um, police new pages, um, leaving the tag she said has been a really helpful tool in letting me know that new users are part of this program. Um, and and because, you know, we, we typically put more scrutiny on new years, new users. Um, and it's been a really helpful tool for us. Um, but I can answer whatever questions anybody has. I, I can walk you through kind of the, the the basic um, formatting um, it's it's all on on whatever you all would like to uh, hear I guess so maybe we can hear from uh, the others what they need and uh, depending on what they answer I will tell you <laughs> what my concerns my main concerns are and maybe I can go in the meanwhile to the quote. So Obi Otang Pelasia and Noni, by the way. Yeah, so I mean I I don't know about the other ladies, but I am actually a a newbie <laughs> after uh being with Wiki in Africa for almost two years. I am still a newbie in the wiki world. Um, in terms of uh, WikiQuote and contributing onto WikiQuote. Uh, so I, I think for me, and I, and I hope this doesn't annoy the rest of, of, of the ladies that are a lot more experienced, but for me, I would actually, because I have added a few quotes, um, but I genuinely, it, was, it happened so quickly I, I, and it happened once. So I, I don't remember and I don't really know like where to start if I was to to contribute on Wikiquote and not only for the She Say campaign, but uh, possibly beyond as well. But the She Say campaign is a great is a great um, place to start. So if as a newbie, Timothy, what do you how do you suggest I go about contributing to Wikiquote? Um, so one of the baseline um, standards that we have for our notability standards on uh, WikiQuote is uh, basically if you if there is an because it's an English project, um, if there is an English Wikipedia page, um, then it's presumed notable um, just because there is one because it's kind of a sister project to the uh, English Wikipedia. Um, and then um, we generally i don't know can i screen share on this sure uh, uh maybe 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 noni needs to give you the authorization i don't know uh, i think i did for everyone 
So at the bottom, see? you will see a okay. green. Okay, share screen. Gotcha. Yeah. Screen. Share. All right, let me pull out a tab. Oh gosh, you have so many tabs open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let me get back to Wikiquote. So if I wanted to make um, chain dough. There's not one, so I'm gonna make one. Can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just basic formatting. Um, I'm gonna bold, which is three uh, apostrophes. And then I'm gonna link, which is two uh, brackets. And I'm gonna go Wikipedia, Jane Doe. And I don't want to display the Wikipedia markup. So I'm going to say chain dough again. And then close my um, bolding. And then I would say, is somebody who did something important? Is that a... Is that a recommendation to actually copy past the small introduction, maybe simplified on the English Wikipedia, or is there, or on the contrary, is that considered too complicated? Is there some rules about this this small introduction part? Um, the introduction normally mirrors the Wiki, the English Wikipedia introduction, um, and it is the only part of this that mirrors a uh, an encyclopedia article. So the entire rest of it, other than the introduction, will be completely different than English Wikipedia. Um, but if you're writing a, um, a Wikiquote article on a subject who already has an English Wikipedia article, um, then it's completely acceptable to just copy and paste what they have. Um, and then, but for attribution purposes, because I'm a Commons admin also, you would go down here and say, um, content copied from English wiki article. So that satisfies the, um, the Creative Commons license um, for the content that you might be copying and pasting. So if that makes what sense. If, yes, so what if there is no Wikipedia article? Um, or what if there is one in one language, but which is not English? What is best to do then? Um, you, you don't have to link it. Um, there is a, um, you're seeing all my dirty laundry here. There is a format for an intervention. Yeah, there it is. So that would be the interwiki link. Yeah, but uh, would that be, so if John Doe, Jane Doe doesn't exist on the English Wikipedia, but exists on the French Wikipedia, is it considered that to be sufficiently notable, to be acceptable to an, make an entry on the English wiki code? Yes, so we, we default to English a lot of the time because we are an English language project, but um, we all know that there's a lot of, uh, especially very particular um, subjects that are not in English. And that's our fault for not porting them over. Um, and we're trying to, to fix that. Um, and the way that you would fix that would be to, um, let's see, I can, I can just create this article because I can, I can delete it later. Um, so you would go in here and you would say, doo -doo, it's not there. So you would go to Wikidata And I'm probably, uh, nope, I want that one. Yep, I do want that one. And you would create a, a, an item here. Mm. So that's one thing we realized the first year, we, oh, the second year, I think. So right that... here, 
it, it, it was app. not it was not creating an item by default as it happens on the English Wikipedia. So why is it so? Because each time we need to go to Wikidata to create an item. Is there a specific reason? Was it a decision or just because no bot was done or something? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that the, the, the English Wikipedia items automatically get a Wikidata item. Uh, if that is true, then that's news to me. Um, I've always created them manually. Um, but from from my perspective as a, an, as, a as an admin, um, I would I would look at this Jane Doe, and I would look over here on the side. Sorry, that's part. Um, and I would see that there's a Wikidata a Wikidata item that's attached to it, and then I would say, oh, there is a Russian or Hebrew or Italian article that is connected to this um, this person, right? Would that be considered sufficiently trustworthy if the article is in, say, a local language such as Hausa, or Swahili, or Igbo? Or would you have doubts? Um, so best practice is, um, I'm going to go ahead and edit this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a summary here for, for just a second for other admins. All right, dummy edit. There we go. Um, yeah. So the so the um, best practice would be to so the the, the first um, section is always quotes. With the double equal signs, um, and then we would say this person said this, and we would say um, this is the source for that, and we would cite it there, which is one of the big differences between Wikiquote and um, other projects is that we don't use inline citations with an end reference section. Um, every citation is um, with the quote itself. And so we would say this person said that, and then we would repeat it. And we would say the same, the same source. Even if it's the same source, we would repeat it twice. Um, if it's not English language, then we would say something like, um, uh, this is a non-English source or a quote. I mean, assuming that this is a quote, right? Quote, something, something. We wouldn't say any of this. It would just be the quote. It would just be like non-English quote. And then we would come down and we would say um, original quote in original uh, language. That way, anybody who wants can come back and fact check it and they can see the original, you know, language quote. And then we would come down and say the source for the quote. Um, you, you really are kind of expected to provide the original language um, for a foreign language quote. Well, I don't want to say foreign language, for a non English language quote. Um, and again, that's just for. Um, you know, for, you know, the, the best possible um, verifiability, which I'm sure anybody who is uh, familiar with Wikipedia is familiar with verifiability. Does that make sense? Or did I not answer your yeah. question? Yeah. Um, yeah, but I, I was still on, on the notability of the, of the person herself, because well, we we have uh, some some groups. Uh, well, I pretty much think it's a case of a family coming back home. Um, they work quite a lot in local languages, and very often, I remember in particular there was a Zimbabwe lady last year or two years ago who were trying to enter some stuff, and there were actually on the English Wikipedia something like maybe fifteen entries of Zimbabwe women. 
So their, their issue is that to make any quote in Wikigo, they first had to create the article in English on the English Wikipedia before they could then create an entry on Wikiquote. And of course, they, they immediately run into all the problems of notability. And um, so I have been wondering what were exactly, if there were any exceptions. Um, for example, if that person is actually very well known and the quotes are on major newspaper, for example, is that possible to have an entry on Wikiquote, even though there is no entry on Wikipedia? And if not, uh, at which point, which languages are considered acceptable to uh, measure notability? Um, no, I would say that 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 um, uh, having a having an article on on the English Wikipedia is a is a um, uh, if it's, if it's not offensive to say this a, a rule of thumb, if that makes sense. Um, that there are often, uh, I mean, from my perspective, we get a lot of people who are like, so and so is a, you know, a amateur DJ from, uh, you know, Bangladesh. Or whatever you know and, and so it's it's a lot of people who like they don't have an article on wikipedia and they don't deserve one if that makes sense um yeah. and if you so if you, if you come in here am i still screen screen sharing yep so if you come in here and you're like really good source you know super i can't type super good source um, that's, that's not gonna, you know, that's gonna give us pause to say, okay, well, maybe, maybe the problem is not with the person. Maybe the problem is with the English Wikipedia that, that they're wrong for not having this person's article yet. And that can even be a tool for other people. Um, especially if people who are savvy with Wikidata to be like, okay, hold on this, this person has a, you know, has a Wikidata item. They have a, a wiki quote page but for some reason this person from gambia doesn't have an english wikipedia article even though i can go to wikiquote and i can see that they have all these sources that are listed which may indicate that they are worthy of an article might be interesting to have a, a query that would um list all articles related to women with a wikidata entry but no wikipedia entry I don't know if you have a default of those. I don't think I have. I don't hear you anymore. Sorry, I was muted. Um, this is so. This is would be the guy to go to for for questions on technical issues. Um, he is the guy that I go to for technical issues. Um, I'm a social worker by by education, so I am not technical at all. Um, but he is he is actually um, he's a an admin on on Wikidata and an admin on Wikiquote. Um, and he's technically savvy way more than I am. Um, but if you want to um, try to get like um, more uh, robust data, I would say that he's probably the person that I would go to. Lawrence, are you talking? We can't hear you. Is that directed toward me? No, no, I was saying Florence. I, th I thought she said something. Yeah, she. It's still not working, Flo. Okay, why why we're waiting for her to join the? I think she's having a technical problem. 
I have some questions on the chat board. Yeah, absolutely, go for it. Give me two seconds to let my dog out and I will be fine. Okay. Does it work <laughs> for me at least? You're back. Yeah. We're here now. Uh -huh. Yeah, I dropped the micro, so. All right, good to go. Obi, you had a question? Yes, I have two questions on the chat board. One is, is there a kind of a red list like where we'll see names that, that are not on wiki quotes then we can now work on them is there a list like that where we can find the names not as far as i am aware i know um, women in red has a red list on the english wikipedia um I don't know that we have anything on Wikiquote, but it would be um, a really good resource if somebody wants to try to just start that and uh, and uh, you know just start something for people to add to. Okay, then how do we add the referencing or does Wikiquote doesn't need referencing or what? Um, how do we add the referencing just like we do in English Wikipedia? That is a good question because I don't we don't have all of the same um, fancy stuff that is available um, on the English Wikipedia. Um, what I do is I'm going to I assume I'm still screen sharing. Um, I'm going to go to my Wikipedia page. And I'm going to go to my sandbox. And this is just testing that I was doing. So what I normally do is I come over here and I go site. So right here is site, which gives you this interface. And I say templates and I say site, whatever, um, site book. And I say last name, you know, first name, date, title, whatever, publisher, I say insert. And I take this and I would take it over here and I would say, bam. Um, WikiQuote recognizes the template, but it does not have this interface. Um, it does not have this interface that makes it really super simple to do. Um, you can always manually type this, but that is probably an advanced thing. Um, if you, if you're, you know, if you're, if you've done this enough or you remember to say like, you know, bar title equals whatever, um, that's more advanced than your average user. Um, so what I do is I use my sandbox. Um, and that's not a very good answer. And the, uh, the, the rationale behind that is that smaller projects like WikiQuote who have 50 or 60 users a month um, are just not very well supported as opposed to English Wikipedia that has like 300,000. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. If not, then please feel free to ask follow-ups. Okay, I will try it out first and see if it works for me. Then to answer, um, just to contribute to what Noni asked, about how to contribute. Well, in my own case, I started with editing um, articles on Wikiport already. At least it's allowed. Instead of creating a new one, I edit. I can add the reference. I can add pictures. I can add more quotes. That is allowed too. Hope I'm right, Mr. Timothy. Say that last two sentences again, please. 
I can add uh, images or I can add more quotes on already existing Wikiquote articles. Yeah, no, we absolutely encourage people to add uh, quotes on existing articles. Um, that's part of the heart of the project. Um, and you can add images and the, um, and again, speaking as a, um, a commons admin also, um, the, the, the main um, asterisk for adding images is that Wikiquote does not host local images. Um, by local images, I mean images that are on Wikiquote rather than images that are taken from comments. So every image on Wikiquote has to be taken from comments. Um, it has to be free. Um, there are no fair use images um, and there are no local images. Um, I, I know that's that's that language might be confusing for people who are not you know on multiple projects. Um, but a local image is a local image would be something that is uploaded to Wikipedia or the Spanish Wikipedia or the Portuguese wiki quote, but not commons. A commons image is a global image and it's usable on every project. Um, so uh, wiki quote does not host local images. We just borrow from commons. Um, so if it does not meet um, the standards of commons, which is uh, uh, free, 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 with almost no restrictions, um, then we don't um, we don't countenance it on 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 uh, Wikiquote. Um, and then um, you and you can um, so well. Uh, let me let me go back. Um, just as a a primer. So the 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 normal standard would be this part right here. I assume I'm still screen sharing. So this is the introduction, right? And then we have quotes, and these these would be quotes by the individual um, that we're talking about. And then the next section would be quotes about person. which would be other people who are talking about them. So it'd be like Jane Doe is super duper. And then we would say cite the source here. Um, and then we would normally say external links. And we would go Wikipedia. Da -da, and that will generate a template. And this will go, uh, we might do something like commons. Um, these only work if the names are exactly the same. Otherwise you have to go like this and go Wikipedia. Maybe they have an, an initial, right? So Wikipedia, Jane S. Doe. And then that will give you Leave a node. So that will give you these templates, if you can see them over here, that link, link to sister projects over here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and then it, it, that's really like 90% of our articles, um, unless you get into people who are um, widely misquoted, and we do have our, we do have sections for people who are widely misquoted. Um, Gandhi is a good one. Gandhi has a whole section on quotes that he never said, but are often um, attributed to him, and so we try to debunk that in an, in the interest of, you know, presenting verifiable information. If that makes sense. Sorry, I went off on a tangent, but hopefully that relatively <laughs> answers your question. Okay. Um, whilst you are talking, I'm trying to update the main page of She Said on the, on the English Wiki quote. 
And uh, just as a comment for Obi, so we we do have red lists. Um, I'm trying to find them. I know they are somewhere. Uh, what happened mostly is that well, if you if you look in the big document, there's a list of um, things you can do. Maybe you can show us, Timothy, uh, whilst you're sharing the screen. Um, can someone give him the link to the she said page so that he can go there? Or click on the menu, it's easy. Yeah, yeah, I'm now on the English one. Now, if you click on she said 2023, you will have the link. At the top in the menu. Yeah. And here, normally, you have the list of uh, of linguists. In English is probably, no, 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 it's up. No, it's up. No, no, up. <laughs> and here, here, stop, 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 here, stop. She said in Arabic, she said in English, Italian, Gumbe, Catalan, here. Yeah. You pick up the English one. Yes. And uh, if you go down in here, there is a, a big section that is called things you can do. Yeah, from here. And if you go below down that, there's a, a bunch of places where you can put categories to women, article stops to improve, article in need of a photo, article to improve so that's the and just below there is a red list and the red the just below this here you see a red red list and the reason why there are sub pages is that some people wanted to do their own red list so now the red list needs needs to be improved because some of them were filled up so if you look at i don't know nigeria is there one for nigeria i don't know it doesn't seem to be. Yes, there is one. Here, yeah, most of them have been filled up. So there is this page. And there was another page that was just worked for Kenya, Namibian, South African, and Zimbabwe. I think it was Ayla who created this, this one. She made some big queries for that. But uh, the red list page is typically the one you can improve before you go to your the to the participants. Look at this page. I can clean up what is blue if you want to. Uh, and you need to list there the ones you want to work on. So the second or third year, uh, Toshi did a big job in Igbo. Uh, Igbo Wikiquote was still in incubator at that time. She created a list of about 30 names and they worked through the 30 names that they had planned to work on. So that that's that's one way to create your own red list. I mean, I would say, like, since we uh, we seem to be with um, people who are leaders um, in this uh, meeting, um, that the the act of creating a page that is persistent is is extremely valuable because, especially for new users, it's very difficult to figure out how to do that. Um, and when they come to a page that exists and they want to add a quote, um, it's much it's a much lower barrier to entry. If that makes sense, um, because they don't have to figure out the formatting. They can kind of just hit edit and then just follow the formatting and it's there, which is how I started editing Wikipedia. I just clicked edit and just followed what it, what it was that I saw. Um, so just creating the page, even if it has one or two quotes. Um, now, I would say that the that there is a speedy deletion criteria that you when you create a page, it does have to have at least one quote one source quote um but it is you're even if you can just do one or two quotes like you're doing a, a great service for people lord knows 14 years down the line and they come back and this person publishes a book and and they want to include this quote well the 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 scaffolding is already there if that makes sense 
Um, they don't have to make it from scratch. They can just add and they can follow your lead as far as the formatting goes, which is really valuable, especially um, for people who are not familiar with the, uh, the Wikimedia software. Yeah, the red list is really super practical. Thank you, Florence, for the red list. Yeah. So typically, you can start, you can start from there. Um, or if you have many, 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 many names, <laughs> well, you can create a sub sub list. Um, I don't remember who started this list initially. We have a we have Pelagia. Your hand is up. Do you have a question or comment? Yeah. Is the question? Is, uh, can I use the um, English uh, written wiki quote as my red list in Swahili? Because I want to write in Swahili and there's some some uh, wiki quotes written in Swahili already. So can I use the uh, English wiki quote as my red list? To use it as your reference? Sorry? Are you, do you mean Pelagia to find all the women currently listed on Wikiquote from your country and have that to feed your future Wikipedia entry? Yes, in Swahili. Yes, why not? Then you can navigate through the category system. If you go for anyone, um, um, let's say I go to Botswana and I pick up Neo Mazizi. I have no idea who Neo Mazizi is. And Neo, Neo Mazizi is uh, in a category women from Botswana. And in women in Botswana, we have about, I don't know, um, 25 entries maybe. So I don't know if all of them from Botswana have been tagged there. Uh, I'll take the example of Botswana because it's, it was under my, my finger. But um, that can be used as um, a collection of women who are both probably on Wikipedia and on Wikiquote. Do, do you see what I mean with, with the category system? Well, so that means that I'm going to, I have to check for categories, not all the, in all lists. Um, Timothy, can can you can you repeat a little bit the rationale uh, about the, the category system? Because most of them, uh, previous year when they were adding the entries, they the the newcomers they didn't put categories, so it was always a work that we had to do afterwards. Okay, so for me, I think I can do that. I can just take an English wiki quote and translate them to Swahili wiki quote. For the meantime, at the same time, I can have some list for my country, like uh, women in Tanzania, probably. Yeah, but uh, um, Timothy, can you please show the, the category women from Tanzania, for example, what is in there? Tanzania, right? Let me see here. Yeah. Right, there we go. Um, it does not look like we have any category for women. Um, the category itself has um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, categ uh, 18 entries entirely. Um, so um, there has apparently not been enough women involved that somebody has made a specific category for women from Tanzania. 
Um, but the categories are, are, are really incidental. Um, if the categories follow the articles, um, and that's why we don't have, um, we don't have lawyers from Tanzania, um, Tanzania. Um, we don't, we don't have, uh, yeah. I don't know, school teachers here. Like compare this to, um, Um, we'll compare this to Canada. So we have uh, Canadians by religion. Um, we have um, by occupation, 34 different categories here. Um, and it's really just that the, the categories follow the, uh, the, the articles that we have. Um, and so in, in issues where we have um, very few articles, they don't get to this level of, you know, linguists from um, you know, Moldova, uh, we don't, we don't get to that point because there's just not, you know, 3000 articles that need, uh, that kind of granularity. Yeah. You know, there's, there is no suggestions for Tanzania anyway at the moment. So I don't even know if there are women, uh, they may, they, there's no category clearly, but maybe there's, there are maybe some women from Tanzania somewhere maybe uh but there is no in the red list there is no suggestion from for tanzania so maybe that could be the starting point rather starting on the red list to identify the women you would really like to have an entry for uh would maybe be the first step okay i think i have to do that but... because um, yeah, they are not in the category. And that, that's actually one thing I worked a lot on the French Wikipedia the first year. We cleaned up the categories because um, you may know or not, but French language is gendered. So we had plenty of category always in the male gender. So we had, I don't know, male photographer and male politician and male blah, 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 never the female. So either we change it so that we had both category available or we chose uh, a neutral gender uh, term so that we could put everyone in there. So we worked a lot on fitting up the category. And one of the things that suggests here is that we don't even have yet the category for Tanzanian women. So as soon as there is one Tanzanian woman here, then we can create a category and make it available for others to fill up. And in the future, realize that there's only one person in the category and maybe they need to put more names. So, there's, there's also all, also all this work to do around category that might be worth it. Um, let me walk you through one thing. So um, on our, our any page, basically, you have this thing, um, preferences, right? So we're gonna open preferences. Uh, I'm gonna try and move this out of the way if I can. Thank you. And we're gonna go to um, gadgets and hotcat right here, hotcat. If you guys will enable that, it is not enabled by default. Mm -hmm. So hotcat gives me this guy down here, categories. So what I can do is if I want to say, um, Women from, read the spelling right. I like to copy and paste and not spell because I'm a horrible typer. So women from, well, and you can see right there that we have, we have so many you know, options here that are already made. Women from Tanz, Tanzania, 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 sorry. Okay, so that's red linked, right? So I'm gonna go to this. I'm gonna say, and I'll, I'll delete this afterwards. Um, but I'm gonna go category, people from Tanz Tanzania, and just go, bam. All right, so now there's one article in this that is Jane Doe, which is the 
test article that I made. And if we refresh this, now there is a section that says women from Tan Tanzania, and there is one article there. Um, so that's really all you have to do. Enable Hotcat, and Hotcat is what gives me this thing at the bottom here that mm -hmm. lets me add, delete. Um, it's not an admin feature. It's just a feature of the, uh, the interface with Hotcat. Um, and it lets people find, um, it lets people find articles, but it also enables a, a boatload of, um, uh, semi-automated tools to where you can say like, how many women from Africa are on this project? And you can just hit go. Um, and the computer will tell you exactly how many there are. Well, as far as the extent to which they're categorized correctly. It's a complete mystery for me why this tool is not activated by default. Everyone I know, I tell them, go to preference and activate this one. <laughs> Just, I don't understand why it's not default. It's absolutely so useful. So. No, I completely agree. So now you can put your all your women from Tanzania over there. Question is for Sorry, Malaysia. That was not clear. You, what were you saying? I said like that. Can yeah? I have to look for quotation written in Swahili. Is it right? Like, for instance, women in Tanzania, but the quotation, most of the quotation will be in Swahili. Is it right as a, as a point to start? Hello. I'm not sure I, I can't understand. I mean, most the quotation from uh, let's say women from Tanzania, if I, was, I have to look for quotations said by women from Tanzania, most of them will be in Swahili. So uh, is it right as a starting point? Probably we may write them in English, then we link, we link them in Swahili language. So my question is, is it right to find the quotation written in our local language Swahili? No, that's completely cool. Um, I assume I'm still screen sharing. Um, so what you would do here is you would say, um, uh, this is the quote in English. And you would say, this is the quote in the native language. Whatever. Um, and then you would say, this is the source. So that somebody who does speak Swahili can can fact check what you're saying because you include the original quote in the original language. Does that make sense? But but it's perfectly fine to use non English sources. Um, we just like to include the the non English um, original quote in case somebody um, takes liberty with that quote and and translates it in a way that is not necessarily uh, faithful to the original. Yeah, I do that always for French. I always put the original language. Mm. Um, I see a hand up maybe. Is OB. Yeah. Okay. I wanted to ask, but if you're doing translation, translating from like English to Igbo, uh, I don't, I don't think I'm not aware if the original code will work because I'm doing direct translation. What do you think? I'm not. I'm not sure. I understand why the uh, 
the original would not work. Um, maybe you can elaborate. If I'm translating somebody's quote from English to Igbo, you know it will not be exactly the same because I'm trans I'm translating to my native language. The way we speak it will not be the same with English language. Well, no, also, the, no, I, I mean, absolutely. Like there are different translators. I mean, you can find books that are that are millions of years, well, not millions, but you can find very old books where people do different translations and they are different. Um, uh, Caesar comes to mind where there's literally like 30 or 40 or 50 different translations. Um, but the, the system is set up so that we try to remove ourselves from the process as much as possible. Um, so that's why we include the original text along with our translation. So that if some other person comes back and says, well, this word in this context is slightly different than the way that you, con you, you translated it, they have access to the original. Um, so the idea is that we are supposed to be neutral arbiters. Um, doesn't mean that we can't do our own work. It doesn't mean we can't have our own thoughts, but it does mean that we have a system where other people can check us and um, correct us if we made a mistake, if that makes sense. Can you elaborate a little bit uh, about the uh, the sources and yeah, the quality of the sources and the age of the quotes. The reason I'm asking for the age of the quote is that on the French Wikipedia, normally any quote that is less than ten years old is rejected. So what's the what's the position of the of the English wiki quote on that? I saw many times some quotes from Donald Trump, which are obviously less than ten years. But is there something here? special to think about and um what what uh, is for example um a record of a conversation with that person considered okay to second the fact it's it's a quote from her like if the person spoke in a tedx talk for example if there is a re record that is public is that considered to be the proof it's not going to be a proof that the quote is notable, but that's the the proof that the quote is from that person. So what's what's a little bit the status around all this? Okay, so I'm going to put on my my Wikimedia Commons admin hat real quick. <laughs> um, so um, WikiQuote runs. Um, for the majority of, of, of the content, it runs on the principle of fair use. Um, so fair use means that you can use um, small parts of copyrighted content um, as long as you have um, an original presentation, an original commentary, um, an original uh, uh, format, um, and you, you, you can do that legally. Um, what you can't do and what we run into problems with sometimes is that you cannot do, uh, you cannot take um, whatever is on the, uh, the New York Times bestseller list and you cannot take three pages and quote that because that's not minimal use. Um, it's, it's, it's excessive and you get into the point where you're saying like, well, are we offering an original product to the people? of our own creation or are we just re-hosting other content? Um, for, um, for older works that have fallen into the public domain, so for the United States, that would be normally um, works that were, well, and for many other countries, um, works that were published before 1925, or, uh, yeah, 1925, um, those are public domain um, and those should be posted on uh, Wikisource. So Wikisource is a repository for full document um, public source or public domain content. Um, but it's important to understand that public domain and publicly accessible are not the same thing. So public publicly, publicly accessible means like you can get to it. 
Um, but you can get to a New York Times article um, or a Haaretz article, um, and that doesn't mean that it's public domain. It's still copyrighted. Public domain means that all intellectual property rights have expired, which generally means that it's published before 1925. Hopefully that's close in the neighborhood of answering the question. Mm -hmm. uh, fair use doesn't exist in France. <laughs> um, okay. What about the others? Do you have do we have any other questions or clarification needed? Because I see it's already uh, the hour. Otang, I think, have been has been already organizing it for a while. Oh, I didn't see that Minette join. Hello, Minette. We're hiding in a cover. Hello, Florence. Hello, everyone. It's Cameroon getting ready. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, Timothy, those are those are four organizers that we have here. Okay, is there other other uh, last questions for Timothy? Uh, can you remind us your username so that we can contact you again if needs? Yeah, absolutely. So if, if I'm still screen sharing right here uh, mm -hmm. at the top, uh, exactly. green means go. Green means go. All one word. Um, so feel free to reach out to me. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm, I've got advanced privileges on both Commons and Wikiquote. I'm happy to help anytime I can. Um, I'm, if I don't respond to you, it's probably because I'm gone doing military stuff because um, I, I go out of town, out of state frequently for military stuff. Um, but feel free to reach out to me. I will help you any way I can. Okay. What about you, Pelagia, Otang, Minette, Bobby? Are we all set? Noni, you yeah. have organized something in South Africa? Next year. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Today, I mean, this year, I will um, work on existing pages and then... Next year, I will, I will I will create a red list and I will be an organizer and I will apply for a grant, but only next year, all in due time. I think you could start working in, on the red list already. Yeah. yeah. Why not? Yeah. Uh, Florence, I will be talking. I had in, my, in the participating language, I added Swahili and in, but still in incubator. So is it right to add on the participating, like uh, participating languages? Yeah, by the way, it's not a problem, Pelagia, to participate in the incubator. Um, Toshi did that for Evo, and there was, uh, I can't remember, um, some of the um, Asian people, Indian people, they worked on two languages, Tagalog and another language as well, was in, still in incubator the first time they participated. And then it was public. And I think there was another language as well at some point. So they, they had their little corner, they had a red list and they worked through their red list. And so when they decided they could go on for the for the wiki code, then they had their, already some content to move there, which was useful. So it's it's not a limitation. Uh, you just need to make sure to, to know where your couple of pages are, are and uh, keep your corner for you. And that should be okay. The the good okay. part of the of the of the wiki quote, the English wiki quote at least, is that the the structure you guys decided to keep is very simple. See, it only uses uh, the sections and uh, bold and italic and uh, bullet point list, and that's it. The French people they decided to use only templates. It's horrible. Maybe it looks better visually, but editing is a is a catastrophe. So when I had to explain people how to use that, it took me way longer. 
because of, of the template situation. So you can do the same on, on the wiki code. You just use the bold, the section, the italic, the bullet point, and you should be fine. Okay. Any last thought? Well, no, I just want to thank you all for your interest. Um, I mean, uh, Wikicode is a small project, and we certainly appreciate um, input, especially from, you know, diverse perspectives. Um, we need that. So thank you, and I'll help you all any way I can. We're trying not to scare you too much. Last year, I saw some people were scared because there were too many entries, and some of them were not so great. So all of a sudden, it steered some no troubles so <laughs> we don't want that just um... no and if there's a mistake like and somebody just gets uh caught up in the wheels um you know you got my username feel free to send me a message uh, my email is enabled shoot me an email um just let me know okay great great well and yeah thank you noni as well uh thank you everyone and uh i wish you a good end of the day uh, I'm trying to do some cleanup on the English page so that it's it's nicer looking, but uh, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Timothy. Thank you, Florence. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We have this recorded so I can look back <laughs> as often. As <laughs> is the first that. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you to Thank all you. of you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.